Hey everybody and welcome to this Electronic Banking Basics on Monday. Now on Electronic Banking Basics on Monday, what do we do? We like to talk about some of the basics of banking. Today we're going to talk about SEC codes. Now what are SEC codes? Or really, what's the SEC? Now some of you might be going to Southeastern Conference, and when it comes to football, go Gators! What's an SEC code? An SEC code is a standard entry class code. What's so important about an SEC code? An SEC code is what tells us everything we need to know about a payment, an electronic payment, when it comes to ACH. It's very important that you get them right. There are currently are 23 SEC codes, and if you're gonna be taking the AAP exam, we had a video on what's an AAP, and if you're gonna become an AAP, you need to know that there are 23 SEC codes, what they are and how they're used. How are they used? What an SEC code does is it tells us so many different things. If you call one of your regional payment associations, one of the first things they're gonna do is ask what's the SEC code for the item, the entry that's in dispute at the moment. Why? Because it will tell us, is it commercial? Is it consumer? Is it possibly both? Is it something that's just informational? Are there going to be addenda records associated with it? What was the process for authorization that was required? What was the method for obtaining the information to create the actual entry? See, all of that we, we know from the SEC code. Certain SEC codes, they're designated for certain uses, like the web. It's actually the internet initiated slash mobile entry. The web entry is something that we create using our phones or something we create using, oh, you know, the internet. We have tell entries, tell entries. Hey, how you doing? You're late on your payment. Would you like to make it now? What, I'm late on my payment? Yes, I'll make my payment now. Those are really consumer based. But we go back to web, Web actually can be used for P2P payments as well. It all depends. Is it a credit? Is it a debit? That's something else that our SEC code will tell us. Is it a credit only, a debit only, or maybe it's both? Sometimes we will see that those SEC codes, they're purely informational. Great example of that would be a DNE, a death notification entry. All it do, it tells us that somebody at your financial institution, the details will be in the addenda record, but somebody at your financial institution is deceased and they've been receiving government benefit payments. And there are some procedures that you now must take. If you'd like to know more about a specific SEC code, well, stay tuned because in future weeks I will be releasing videos on specific SEC codes. If there's one that you have a question about or you'd like to see first, please put it in the comments below. I'll look that over and see if I can't get a video out to you right away. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.